2016 Super Aeronautique G21 in purple metal flake. Onyx black forward and hull. And a mystic white accent with the design package. So we got mystic white windshield vent and a two tone flight control tower. And Onyx black and mystic white. This is a awesome looking boat. Purple, not super common. I think it pairs really well with, uh, with the, uh, the Onyx black on the exterior. Just looks like a, a mean boat on the water. So um, it's sitting on a tandem axle boatmate trailer with the 18 inch blacked out moto metal wheels also has the they call the galaxy graphic on the exterior Nautique Bimini pair of board racks uh, two pairs of JL 7.7 tower speakers um, this boat is available on consignments in great shape we've uh, we sold it new and have done all the service on it as well And it's time for a new home. Real quick, let's walk around. I'm actually going to set this camera down. Let's walk around and I'll point out any uh, cosmetic blemishes on the exterior. Um, as I always say, you know, <laughs> subject to missing some. But uh, first off, there are a couple really light scratches here that are probably going to be pretty hard to see on video. Um, but pretty light. We buffed the boat. Those did not come out. Uh, we also have another scuff uh, just below the rub rail in that gel coat. Um, your Chromax lettering is in great shape. We've left this graphic on, but it does have some dings in it here and there. Nothing super major other than actually this one right here. So that's through the decal, but not into the gel coat. And that's the case for everything um, that you're seeing. For example, you can see where this is flaked up a little bit, but nothing through to that purple metal flake. A couple scratches here and here. Um, the black looks amazing. Uh, might have a small scuff here, but I think, I, I think we could take some acetone to that and it would come out. You know, with the one thing with black is it shows absolutely everything. So you can see a little bit like where the cover has kind of rubbed on the black um, over the years. Same thing up front. You see where that covers kind of rubbed on that that black top surface above the rub rail. Hall bottoms in great shape. You are going to see um, a couple just scrapes from the bunks on the trailer. You see this on every G. That is normal. See that even on our new G's that we've taken to the water, you know, once or twice. Uh, but black looks good on this side. Um, Galaxy graphic on this side too. Just has a couple small nicks here and there. But, uh, you know, stepping back, it, it looks fine. It's a small enough decal to where if you wanted to get rid of it, you could peel it off. I think this boat would look better with it off, but... That's just me. So we're going to leave it on in case somebody does want to keep it. Um, rest of the purple metal flake on the boat is flawless. Um, underneath, does have a pair of underwater lights, surf pipe, and a uh, you know, big 17x17 17 17 prop. Lots of surf system. Everything's good to go. The platform is in really good shape. You're going to see just you know some light surface scratches just from traffic in and out of the boat. Nothing out of the ordinary here. No chips, cracks, or anything like that. Uh, G21 does have the transom cooler. And walking up into the inside of the boat, you're going to see this is in Mystic White. Black seat boxing, black texture vinyl, and then the purple um, piping. So just a touch of color on the interior, and then obviously got mocha brown sea deck in here so nice clean interior um also my, my bad missed this one gunmetal on the accent so next to black it kind of gives it that it's kind of got that sheen to it like a gray sheen um but the interior is in really nice condition here 
we actually have um, they call some pinking going on in a couple of the seat cushions in here so a good chunk of our seat bases are actually going to be replaced but um, on warranty but everything looks good enough to film <laughs> so just know that some of these skins in here will be brand new uh, when the boat leaves so nice wraparound seating in the G let's open up our storage real quick we've got a couple fenders in here because this boat does have the fender pro system soft cooler on the starboard side we also have the hooks but tons of storage 2850 pounds of ballast and it's all subfloor so tons of room for gear um, surfboards wakeboards all fit in the backs of these these g-boats which is amazing um, it's also equipped with the h5 direct injection it was a standard motor for this year so that's a 5.3 liter 355 horsepower outperforms the 409 horsepower engine and also in my opinion runs a little smoother it's definitely quieter and uh yeah it's awesome i actually miss having this in um, the boat that i run so we got a newer boat with a six liter uh, that h5 has 179 and a half hours so call it 180. um step on down into the interior here on the back seat our storage does communicate underneath to the back if we flip up our ugh, flip up our seat here got our reversible seating kind of turns the whole g21 the seats actually line up really well on this one um, but it, like a big couch across the boat wake view seating love it one of my favorite features if we're out riding uh, on the tower before i go through the rest of the interior got a pair of rotating board racks and these are the 77 jls with factory bimini it does have surf pockets when it's open so to play off of that with the stereo it does have six interior jl uh, six and a half inch speakers but it is the studio elite package so flip open this seat here 10 inch sub 10 inch sub under the kick panel which are vented through the rest of the boat. And then up top, you get the tweeters on both sides to kind of fill in the gaps, um, give you a little bit of sound up around the windshield area for whoever's in the love seat or the driver's seat. Flip up seats, footwell for whoever's sitting here. This does have the heated love seat right here, heated driver's seat. Got the strainer bowl out because this thing's winterized. But your head unit, bulk head unit's in there. This is the first year for this new style driver's, uh, driver's seat, which you see in all of our new Nautiques. Um, but we do have the heater outlet behind the driver's seat, as well as at the driver's feet right there. Those pull out on the hose. And a defroster up top. Um, let me power this up real quick. I think I only have one battery hooked up, so if it shows a battery message, that's my fault. Uh, but this is the first year for the newer link screen. It's kind of an in-betweener year, so like this is uh, the same size screen as 2015 and before, except it's touch and you get the helm command over here. So it has all the same functionality as the newer boats. The screen's just not quite as wide, so you don't get the switchboard over here to the right side of the uh, um, center uh, speed speedo rather can't talk uh, stereo ballast um, you have all your lighting options in here docking lights underwater lights rider presets and then lake maps are in there or you can run everything off the helm command driver seats in great shape adjustable steering wheel does have the big mirror and the mirror has a small little like crack right on the edge but it's really not very noticeable um, walking up into the front we have the pocket door air dam it's a nice upgrade on here versus the slide in air dam keep the wind from coming through uh, on our sea deck there is one small stain right here 
Actually, I don't know, it looks like something was pressed into it. So maybe it was a burn or maybe something got pushed into it. I can't tell. But there's a little mark there. Otherwise, bow filler, nice open seating all the way around. Spacious bow on the G21. And then you also have storage under all the seats. Because again, the ballast is subfloor. So it opens up all this storage space for you. One last thing, cosmetically. With these being white seats, as you know, they're a little bit harder to keep clean. And dirt and things gets down in between these seats and has left some stains. Um, when you open up the seats, you can see them here. And actually, I'm glad I opened that. There is a split on this seat right here. Um, that might be one of them we can replace. But there's a split there. I forgot to mention, these are light, uh, lighted cup holders too. I'm forgetting things as I'm talking, but let's turn those on. There you go. So you got white interior lights on this uh, G21. So this is a well-optioned boat. Um, great shape, like I said. Some new seats are coming in for a couple of the seat bases, but otherwise, uh, you've seen the exterior, you've seen the interior. If you want to come check it out, this is a really cool G21. You can reach us uh, at N3 Boatworks, 317-845-9253. Thanks for watching.